Hello students. In a previous video series on index laws, you were introduced to the index laws using numbers. Well, in algebra, we tend to use the index laws using variables rather than numbers. Now, the reason for that, let's have a look at uh, this slide here. So here's what you would have learnt. Here's what you would have learnt in the previous video series. Index law number one, 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 4 to multiply powers with the same base, add the indices, and you get 3 to the power of 6. What we'll, what we'll be doing in this series of videos is similar sort of examples, but uh, using the letter A to stand for the base rather than a specific number. So A squared times A to the power of 4th equals A to the power of 6th, uh, A to the power of 6. Now, if we want to express the general rule for index law number one, we have to use algebra, because this is basically saying, well, this holds true not just for two and four, but it holds true for all numbers. So we use variables. We can express the index laws in a general form rather than as specific examples. OK, let's have a quick review of what we know about indices. So expand 2 to the power of 5. Again, we've done this one before, so this is just a quick review to refresh your memory. That 5 tells us how many 2s we're multiplying together. And this is called expanding when you write it out in full. So 2 to the 5th is 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. Now evaluate and expand look almost the same, but they're quite different. Evaluate means I want a number for the answer. So in other words, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So if you ask to evaluate, your final answer has to be a number. Okay, if it's in expanded form, we can write it in what's called index form by writing it with a power. So I've got four threes multiplied together. Now, of course, we can do the same thing where we have a variable for the base rather than a specific number. So a to the fourth just means a by a by a by a. We're multiplying four a's together. Evaluate a to the fourth if a equals four. Well, that just means we can substitute. And we need to multiply four by four, which is 16 times 4, which is 64, times 4, which is 256. So again, evaluate means you need a number for your answer. And once again, if we have something written in the expanded form, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 6 m's multiplied together. That can be written as m to the power of 6. Okay, and again from last uh, the last video series, a bit of terminology that we use when we're talking about um, indices. The number that you multiply the variable by or the power by is called the coefficient. So in this case, 6 is the coefficient. This is called the base. So in this case, it's the variable y. And that little number up there has three names. In Australia and Britain, we call it the index. In the US, they call it the exponent. And even though I like to use the term power for the whole thing, sometimes that's called the power as well. And we would actually say that is six times y to the power of three, or you might say six times y to the index three. Okay, and finally, um, when an expression is written out in that form with all the multiply signs, that's called the expanded form. And when we write it in this form, it's called the index form. Okay, so that's just a very quick uh, review of uh, the terminology and an introduction to indices. In the next video, we'll start by going through each of the laws one by one.